even though it's the 12th time, here we go again. Hey guys, so this is my review for the first episode of Season 12 of Supernatural. I had such a great time reviewing Season 11, which was probably one of the best seasons since Season 5. I thought I would continue this, so I'm going to try and review every single episode timely of the newest season. So this season started off with a lot of things that I was worried about. Obviously the idea of Men of Letters being a villain as a replacement to the darkness being not even coming close in terms of danger. Uh, the mother element not being that very interesting. And just the whole dynamic of the show just having no real danger for the characters. This episode was actually pretty good for Sam. Like, he's in a bit of a pickle. Admittedly, I actually thought he was going to be broken out within the first episode. Thankfully, they didn't do that. So what we find ourselves in is we see Dean and uh, his mother catching up and basically kind of introducing her to the new world. And it's not a super obvious thing. There's these subtle things. Like, it's a bit obvious when she's looking at the phones and the family's like, hey, everyone's so disconnected. Um, but... That was actually alright. That wasn't really force-fed. And Cass had some really funny moments. <laughs> he, he, I've always kind of wondered what happens when they on the wall. And where do they, did they actually fly away? Or are they teleported away? He just straight up landed in that in that uh, that cornfield. But what mainly we're, we've got is we've now been introduced to the British men of letters. Who apparently are so good at their job. That there hasn't been a monster related killing supposedly since 1965 which just begs the question of two things one that's ridiculous there's no way you can fully confirm that and two if you've been so good at this for so long why have you not come over any time prior to the apocalypse starting you had about like what 40 years to come over and do something, but you didn't. So don't give, you can't be giving Sam and Dean shit when you haven't been there for 40 years, been the absentee father. Speaking of father, they said something about the old man. We don't know who that is, though. Obviously, it's the, letter, the leader of the British Man of Letters, but we're going to kind of see this, the role he plays. Crowley is doing his own little investigation. He's looking for Lucifer, who is jumping bodies. Really, that storyline went nowhere. There was this funny kind of interaction between two demons, but otherwise, totally nothing really happened with that storyline. We just saw Crowley go from one place to another, seeing a bunch of dead bodies. Otherwise, nothing happened with him. So mainly the real element, honestly, in my opinion, the big element of this show was with Sam and the British Men of Letters ladies. Uh, the one who's the leader who has that really weird cut at the back of her jacket and the other one who looks like a skinny British version of Lee Dunham and something that was interesting too is they're torturing him but he even says I had the devil torture me on the inside there's nothing you could do and they're like yeah let's still try torture it's like how's that gonna work either way this episode was very standard but the thing was it wasn't standard bad it was entertaining it did give me more intrigue. It didn't play into things immediately like I that have been hap that has happened with many seasons previous, and I was happy about that. Which means that they are still going to try and take the same kind of story route that Jeremy Carver entwined into season eleven, which I'm happy about. And the episode ended well. Honestly, I thought this was a b decent opener. Not perfect, not excellent, but good. Like I'm definitely saying I'm gonna keep on watching this regardless like even even though I knew I was going to watch this season I'm still in it actually from an entertainment point of view so I'm gonna give this episode a four out of seven decent opener better than last year's uh, opener and that season though turned out to be one of the best seasons in a long time so this one's got a lot to live up to anyway guys that's my first review and obviously many more to come see you guys next time <laughs>